So I'm on this York uh, package unit. This one is a heat pump. Uh, I just wanted to kind of go through um, how to reset your fault codes on a control board on these newer uh, kind of like smart boards basically. Um, I know it's something that I've ran into a lot uh, in the past and I always seem to forget so honestly this video is a little bit for myself uh, just for when I come back out on these. Um, I do have a fault code on this one um, but I've already tried to reset it and it won't reset. Um, I tested out the sensor. I know it needs to be replaced. Um, but I'm just going to kind of go through here. But you have like a little toggle switch right here. And then you have your enter and cancel. Um, it's obviously just super tight in here, which is always a pain. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cycle, start hitting the down button. I'm going to hit go to summary. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to go down to unit hit enter and then I'm going to scroll all the way down you just keep going all the way down to this reset LO I'm going to hit enter and right now it says off um, and then you just basically scroll to the right and then I'm going to hit right one more time and now it changed to on so basically this is saying yes I want to reset my, my safeties I'm going to hit enter and then after about three seconds or something like that, or, or yeah, probably like three to five seconds, it's going to switch back to off, which is normal. And then if it's a fault code that should have reset, um, just hit cancel, get all the way out of this thing. Um, it should reset. Clearly this one didn't reset, which I already knew it wasn't going to because my actual sensor is bad. Um, but... This is just something that you can kind of do. I know sometimes you get crazy faults on here that you just want them off, um, that either you just did replace the part but it's still in here or something like that. Um, that's basically the kind of the best way to, to do it. So I just wanted to show that video. I know it's something that I always seem to forget and have to re-look it up or mess with it until I figure it out again. So that's just a little tutorial video on how to toggle through there to clear out that uh, fault codes um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe uh, thank you guys for watching one more thing I wanted to show on here is how you can uh, get into look at you know th these units come with a bunch of sensors like outside air supply air return air uh, coil temperature sensors stuff like that uh, this is how you can get into some of these sensors right here. So I'm just going to start off. I'm going to go down to summary, hit enter. Right off the get go, it says sensors. I'm going to hit enter again. Um, and then down here, I'm going to go to sensors, hit enter. And then if I hit enter again, I can see my supplier temperature sensor. Um, I'm going to toggle down and hit my return air temperature sensor. Um, outside air temperature so that's that's just a few of the uh, sensors you can get to on here uh, I just wanted to show an easy quick way to get some readouts on summary temperatures um, on, on these units here just for diagnostic or maintenance purposes just kind of see how, how things are performing and then for anyone who wanted it um, on this York unit the model number is at XN060C00B as in boy 2AAA4A. Serial number is at N1L507308. Um, I always have to throw that information in there for anyone who might want that information.